So I just spent the entire day preparing my new, new preset pack up for sale. And in this video, I wanna share how I generally edit my photos from scratch, how I edit this kind of dark aesthetic night photography, this kind of cyberpunky nostalgic style that I've become known for online. And I'm also gonna give you a free preset at the end of this video that I actually came up with while I'm making this tutorial. Now I say new preset pack because I've already had this personally for a couple of years, but I just never sold it before because it was literally just my personal preset pack that I've slowly developed over the past couple of years. It's literally just my own favorite edits that I would then save if I really like to edit and because I always kind of do a similar thing. I just made my own preset pack and now it's finally at a point where I feel like it's good enough to be sold and people will get a lot of value for it. My previous preset pack was developed maybe sometime in 2019, 2020. And while there's nothing really wrong with that preset pack, my style, like every photographer's style, is probably gonna evolve in the past five years. So my edits are a little bit different now. And um, I prefer the new pack. There's a lot more of them. There's a tutorial on how to use them. There's mobile compatible presets as well. And I'm hoping that you get a lot out of using them. I'll leave a holiday season um, promo code if you see this video when it first comes out you'll find that in the description now of course you could skip to the free preset part but I don't recommend it because a preset is just a preset but if you know how to use it it is 10 times more powerful so let's get to the tutorial part first so I was going through some of my photos that I took in Vietnam in this awesome fog and I was re-editing some of it and I figured I'll, I'll just show you guys how I'll um, re-edit this photo. Step one is of course find some awesome fog because that makes everything look awesome. And after you've done that, the great thing about fog is you can manipulate the colors in a foggy weather much more than you could otherwise. For example, you can easily go full later in 2049 if you feel like it. I'm known for my blue kind of content so I would go for blue. But first things first, because of the glow it's kind of difficult to to read stuff and anyway I, I want to reveal some highlights just a little bit better so bringing down this highlight but then bringing the contrast back up with the whites slider is one cool trick that I like to do often not always but sometimes getting a little, a little bit more um, minimalistic with the crop by just removing this um, is something that we could do just making sure that I'm on full brightness temperature is a good way to affect the color of the image, but it does affect it globally. You see all the colors changing. So just doing a little bit with the temperature and then going for the curves, putting a control point here and bringing some blue into the shadows is a good way to make it make, make your image colder if you, if you like that kind of an edit. But of course now you see it's also pretty purple. So because we only added the blue channel. So go in the green channel, adding a little bit of green into it. Now we get a little bit more cyan. Don't want to remove the reds because then the cool contrast is gone. So let's not touch that. Adding a little bit more shadows even though we just revealed some of it. Playing with the curves, black point up a little bit. Uh, fog is good for I mean, it is good to add some grain for foggy photos simply because a lot of the places where you might upload your photos are going to punish you for the gradient. If you add grain, that's a simple trick to remove some of the terrible compression that happens for platforms like YouTube and Instagram, for example. I also like to use Dehancer to uh, add fog. I don't have it on my desktop for photos. I have it on my phone and then I have it on DaVinci Resolve. But yeah, a little bit of grain works, brings you a retro look and uh, I don't like how square this image is, so going a little tighter. Ta-da! Now, I like to work with the individual colors of the image. This is uh, obvious and this also is an obvious contrast point to the blue that we just introduced. It's a theme in my work. So we can play with the with the shade of these these colors. And personally, I would just, actually the yellow being more orange and saturated is not a bad idea. And then 
the overall image being a little bit less saturated is cool. Um, I actually want to make it darker also with the shadows there. And I don't know, a lot of my editing just involves trying all kinds of different exposure settings and then going back to it and seeing if it, if I like it. Dehaze can exaggerate the fogginess, clarity can also exaggerate it, but clarity also tends to look pretty good on floors, so there we can go for spot edits. There's all kinds of AI stuff these days. I just like to, for the most part, keep it simple and just select the floor with a whatever this is. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Sorry, I'm from Finland. Uh, increase the clarity just a little bit on the floor to add a cool thing there. And then done. Um, bring it back. I don't know, it's missing something. Maybe the shadows are too revealed. Maybe I went too low on the saturation. Maybe, maybe bring back the yellows, oranges into the image. Maybe let's play with the blues, make the blue shade different. You can also select individual color or like specific colors on the image like this and then drag them. But if you don't have enough data, it can easily break the image as you can see. It introduces weird gradients if you go too over the over the board with that. Or I could have just, you know, used my presets like what this video really is about. I wanted to tell you guys I released a new preset pack. Although ironically for this photo, they're all a little oversaturated. But for example, Vien is a Vietnamese edit because I used it for photos on this trip. Obviously just one click is a little stupid because it's over um, exposed bring it back down decrease the contrast and that's an option or let's go back to what i just manually did hmm, i like this better you know what i'm gonna make this into a new preset and uh i'm gonna give it away for free on on this video Let's do that right now. Fog preset. Maybe that'll be cool. Let's see how it would work on some of my other unedited photos on this trip. For example, this one. Hard to believe this is not edited, but it was really awesome. Fog preset works maybe a little too blue. Maybe a little desaturated. Not bad. Another one here, taken with a vintage lens in heavy fog. Honestly, it's not the best photo. This one's too cyan, making it warmer and more purple. Oof. A little too foggy, honestly. Anyway, yeah, link in bio for both the actual presets and the free one. Uh, if you sign up for the email list, I'll send you the, the preset we just created during this video. Hope you got something valuable out of it.